Hi everybody, Tug here, and today we are going to take a look at kind of a throwback to old school turn-based tactical games, a little bit of XCOM, a little bit of invasion, and a lot of bit of fun. So without further ado, let's crash land on a dangerous planet and see what Spaceland has to offer. When you first load into Spaceland, you're greeted with a grid to move around on, a character with action points, and a standard turn-based combat setup. You're dropped right into a tutorial level where you have to shoot some aliens in the face, gather some loot, and scoot right on out of there. And initially, the art style is, while good, kind of harkens to a mobile platform. And while with Steam's support, you can broadcast and play this from your phone, dismissing it out of hand because of this and thinking that it's basically just a mobile port being dropped on Steam is doing the game a disservice because as you progress through this, you discover that there's a lot more to this game than just that initial art style. There is a story here, although the delivery of that story certainly leaves a little bit to be desired. It seems in some ways a ham-fisted attempt to slap a story on top of what is a pretty interesting combat game. And in order to do that, they took what are a lot of tropes and basic things from B-action movies and kind of just dropped those into text boxes. It doesn't really present itself in the best manner this way, and I think, if anything, the story that is underpinning here has some interesting facets, but it's delivered in a manner that is distracting. But as you progress through, you start to unlock more systems, like weapon upgrade abilities, armor upgrade abilities, and other ways to customize and grow your characters as you progress through the story, as you progress through this abandoned facility, learning more about it and discovering and rescuing new members of your group. Now, the way that currency is earned by completing different objectives and completing the mission in a certain amount of time is an interesting concept and a very cool mechanic as far as using that as a currency. But sometimes, well, as you can see here, the upgrades aren't handled that well. <laughs> hey, I found a grenade in my pocket. Um, later on, you get upgrades directly to the abilities that your characters have, like a sprint or a heal or grenades doing more damage, you know, when you remember that you had a grenade in your pocket this whole time while you're running around fighting aliens. But regardless, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And you think that's where it's going to stop. But then you get to certain missions and certain objectives where the maps themselves start to become a character in the game. They start to establish new techniques and new ways to advance and control the battlefield. Here we see characters getting the ability to boot and shoot explosive barrels in order to close off spawn points for aliens. Now this is a very cool and fun mechanic. Later on we discover that by using explosives, we can piece by piece destroy cover that aliens are using, and they can do the same with you. And as you're slowly finding this stuff, you're then presented with an even more dynamic experience. The level unfolds before you, and you see all these platforms, and you're told, hey, they can only support one of us at a time. We need to be careful. But that unlocks an entirely new mechanic. That allows the level itself to become both an enemy and an asset. You can manipulate the terrain to your advantage and enemies can do the same against you. This is where the game 
really starts to shine through. This is where the game starts to take on that character and make you forget about how it looks and the story that it was delivered and shows you that, hey, it's still XCOM. So that was my first look at Spaceland by developer Tortuga Team. I have to be honest, I went into the beginning of this game and went through the first level thinking that this is just going to be a very bare bones and simple experience and that its cutesy art style might earn it a few points, but really there's not a lot of gameplay here. And I left it thinking, wow, that was fun. And I think the highest compliment I can pay to it is that it reminds me of Into the Breach. If you've never played Into the Breach, it is a game that is, while it's a roguelite, it has this same sort of visceral feel, that kind of panic that not only are the enemies after you, but the environment as well. And honestly, both are games where you can sit down for 30 to 45 minutes every few days and play a few levels and feel good about it. And that's honestly a great compliment for what is a pretty cheap game. So I hope you enjoyed my look at Spaceland. Full disclosure, I was given the key to this game for free for review purposes. Uh, believe or not that it impacted my uh, review of this at all, which it didn't and it doesn't. If you've seen any of my other first look ones, you'll know that that's the case. But I actually enjoyed Spaceland quite a bit, and I'm probably going to go back and play it again as well. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't, you didn't. It's YouTube. You know what to do. I will see you all on the next one.